Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you at the construction site of Sovelmash. It's Alexander Sudarev, as always, and today we will share news from the fields, what our workers are doing, what they're working on, and we will look at some processes in person. There is a lot of work which is done, and most of this work is quite routine, so you won't see anything new. However, the things that we can show you and things we can focus on, we will surely show them to you. Behind me you see new access and the testing and industrial part of the building is starting to have borders with the future administrative and technical building. They are now separated with a fire safety gap, which is already there. And I think that our specialists will now film it and zoom there. And you see that there is mounting of plates of semi-basement on the territory of administrative and technical building. Reinforcement has been done for the first section of the lift shaft and work is continuing quite rapidly. In the last video, the flight of stairs we are now looking at, it was beyond the building and now it is all covered with metal constructions, which means that very soon building brigades will be able to put foam work and to start pouring concrete in order to continue to go up. But now let's move further and look at what else has been done and what has changed during this short period of time. Let's go. Flights of stairs. Here we see that it is now at the level of the second floor and reinforcement is done to put foam work later and to have access to the roofing. We will have access to the roof, which is already a good achievement, so to speak. And please look at what is happening here. We previously showed to you that a hole was made there and now they did foam work and they poured concrete here and they are doing hydro isolation here now. There will be cables here, everything will be commuted and soon we will show you what it will look like, but even now it looks quite imposing. Let's get back to the topic of groundwork. We here see the next stage. A section of canalization has been mounted. In, in the last video we showed that there were leak tightness tests, they poured water here and there were no leaks. No leaks were identified, so it was checked that it was quite well operating. And then they started to do backfilling of soil with further compacting. The same way it was done on the territory of all of the planning and design center, but they used a vibro roller before and now they are using a vibro plate, which allows to do this work with more precision. This work will be done everywhere, where there is mining of the ground and where all communications are put. And let's move on. From this angle, if the cameraman puts his camera there, you know, some people were saying that our construction site is just a fake, that there is no rubbish, there is no waste. But now you see that we are at the phase where there is a lot of waste. Different packaging which allows to bring things here without damaging the elements needed to construct planning and design center. Now there is a lot of waste on the construction site. And the guys load everything into containers and then dispose of it. Look, from this angle you see that this flight of stairs is now reaching the roof. There is reinforcement there and we only need to put foam work there to pour concrete and the access to the roof will be ready. I think that this is the first access to the roof in this building. It is almost a historical moment. Let's now get to the warehouse part. We will do it quickly like bloggers. And here we are. The warehouse part looks quite different. There is almost nothing there left. And now metal constructions are being transferred to the front part of the building 
closer to the administrative and technical building in order to start all the relevant mounting work and all the access adjacent to it. The building starts to look finished and the site which has been liberated now will soon be filled with new materials. We understand that we need to start mounting of barriers, of bordering constructions, and to do that we need to first bring them, then store them somewhere, and then to start mounting itself. Just imagine how much heat insulating material we need to bring here in order to provide comfortable conditions of work to those who will be working there. Those who have nothing to do with construction maybe will not imagine that, and those who are involved in construction will understand it, no doubt. If we look at it from this angle, we will see that there is a flight of stairs on the right, on the left, there are two stages left of concrete pouring, and from here we see the roofing, which starts to spread over the whole perimeter of the building, over the whole roof. I think that very soon we will be able to see what the building will look like when it will be closed. Well, I guess we need to leave this place before the filming crew is hit by the crane. Look, this is the waste, this is the rubbish we were talking about. The guys put them in containers and then bring them away from here and dispose of them. Usually the construction site is clear, but after taking everything out of the packaging for some time, temporarily, the waste is stored in special places. Mounting of holes is continuing. Hydro-isolation work was done and there is one more left in this section. Let's move on. Let's get to the next hole. Here they put reinforcement, they have done preparatory work for concrete, all the bases were prepared, they will put foam work here and then they will pour concrete. The guys will show it to you. And now we are at a very interesting point of viewing. From here we see that the main part of the building has its contours and the plates of semi-basement are already installed there. And if we look this way, we will see that in order to assemble metal constructions in this part, we need to deplace the crane because it is quite big. And for that we need to prepare the site and we see a lot of concrete there and we also see a lot of sand. The site will be prepared and the mounting will be finished here as well. And as soon as the mounting of metal constructions is finished here, it will be possible to put foam work and to continue pouring concrete off the flight of stairs the same way it is done on the other side of our Chiburash canal. And from the angle we will now come to, we will see that the construction site is actually finished there and the building is so much beyond the site that it is now touching upon the construction next to the workers area. And to see everything it is enough to come up to the window to do like this and to see the growing planning and design center right in front of you. So I think that we are now finishing today's tour, but I will now show you a frame and please try to guess what you are looking at. Please pause your video, write a comment and then you will check yourself. Behind me you now see a big working space. We have already shown such frames to you, nice spaces and so on. Please pause the video and tell me, is it lengthwise or transverse? Have you guessed it? This is transverse. We are continuing our construction work. See you later.